Okay, do you guys want to share your questions? Mine was more about one of the specific things of her problem, like I said, rapid heartbeat, I think. Um, and I was asking how fast is her heartbeat, because like, it was talking about um, the food entering, why the shortage of food was entering because of blood stream. Wait, can you say a little bit louder? Like, about the bloodstream, I heard everything else, but I was wondering what was, how much um, food was entering McKenna's bloodstream. Um, I can answer that question with my mother. Oh, okay. So my model it shows like the nutrients or the food. Basically. Wait, we haven't gone to round two yet. Oh shoot! Oh yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, can I write your question now? How is the food affecting? Her? How is the shortage of food affecting McKenna? Okay. So why? No, your question. Oh, um. Forget. How much food molecules are entering McKenna's bloodstream? My model, I can't draw, but basically, I could draw. You like my drawing? That's actually pretty good. Yeah. So my drawing is basically uh, supposed to be the bloodstream, and then the different nutrients. And then the so no nutrients in the bacteria. In the bloodstream, in the bacteria. <laughs> no nutrient in the bloodstream could cause fatigue because if there are no proper nutrients, if there's no proper nutrients in the bloodstream, your body won't have any energy to run off. Difficulty breathing. If you aren't getting the energy you need, you will develop exhaustion, which leads to difficult breathing. Weight loss. Uh, I'm not so sure about this weight loss thing. It's just an inference. If nutrients isn't being absorbed or going through the body, what will the stomach feed off of? Your stomach could feed off of your fat and your muscle, which could cause weight loss. But I'm not so sure about that. And then rapid heartbeat. Again, with exhaustion, if you're exhausted, you can easily have a rapid heartbeat from no nutrients. So I basically answered her question, right? Yeah. What? That basically oh. Whose so question? Mine. About? Um, the rapid heartbeat and how that affects, or how the bloodstream affects the rapid heartbeat. Oh! Thanks! Okay. Oh yeah, she answered my question, so... Well, I, I could still answer your question. So... The food, or your question was like, how much food is entering McKenna's bloodstream? So not all nutrients as they should. Like you know how, how when it go, how the nutrients when they go through the small intestine, they get absorbed by a regular person. Yeah, not all the nutrients that McKenna, that a regular person absorbs, McKenna absorbs. So, so not as much as she should, not as much food as she should be entering her bloodstream. It's entered. So, like, there's obviously less because he doesn't absorb different stuff like glucose, starch, all that stuff. So, yeah, because, and this, and this happens because her small intestine is smooth, and instead of being like bumpy where it's easier to absorb more stuff, it's smooth where it's harder to absorb stuff. So, yeah, that's narwhal. Let's go, buddy. Go, narwhal. You guys both answered my question, but you have to explain your model. So, it seems to me, now that I look at YouTube models, that I didn't quite understand this, and... But what did you read? I attempted to draw the symptoms aside from what was going on in her digestive system, like brain fog, like muscle cramps. And then cramps in your muscles. That, I don't. The <laughs> lightning. <laughs> I wrote muscle cramps, but I. But 98 BPM. But I that's know. very, 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 very high. It's actually. Yeah, it's high. Pretty high. It's that's high. supposed to be 60 to 80. Yeah, it's supposed to be 60 to 80. 98. Your normal heartbeat. Yeah. So, you know, I, I actually didn't know. Oh, I you broke. said 90. I thought you were looking at 55. Oh, dang. That'd be about that. That's but fast. Yeah. So, yeah, and you answered that question and that question. And you answered all of them.